who better than the top scorer of the league to open up our top three goals of the round. Shimane Kano got a clever pass from Ganso, turned and shot beautifully from outside the area. The ball deflected slightly off the defence before flying into the top corner. A great goal to open up the path for yet another Fluminense win at the Maracanã. In second place we've got the Uruguayan David Talens. Atletico Paralaense's midfielder dribbled past two opponents and tried from outside the area. The ball flew in straight into Gledson's top corner. Unstoppable! A masterpiece from Terence at the Hesekada. But the best goal of the round came in the Magistoso derby at the Morumbi, where Yuri Alberto hit this cracker. Corinthians number 9 received the ball from Giuliano, created some space and hit a rocket with his so-called weaker foot. Felipe Alves tried to reach it but couldn't. Yuri Alberto, the owner of a top goal of the round. Yuri Alberto brings Morumbi to a halt! What an amazing shot! He leaves no chance, no chance at all for Felipe Alves! The best save of the round was made by America's Mateos Cavicchioli. Lucas Fernandez hit a great free kick and the ball was heading into the top corner, but the Rabbits keeper just got an off onto it to turn the effort away. America picked up a point away from home, mainly because of Cavicchioli. Just watch this spectacular save from all the angles. The greatest dribble of the round was by Palmeiras midfielder Zé Rafael. In the home win against Juventudi, the number 8 produced two nutmegs in the same move. First, Gian was beaten. And when Jadson tried to help his teammate, he ended up being nutmegged by Zé Rafael as well. Led Samba, a show of fine skills, the best dribble of the round belongs to Zé Rafael. It's that time of the programme where we take a look at the best players and the coach who impressed us in the round. In goal we've gone for Felipe Alves of San Paolo, right back Adelan of Red Bull. The central defenders are made up of Vital from Internacional and Luciano Castan of Coritiba. At left back Juninho Capixaba from Fortaleza. In midfield Guilherme Castillo Serra, Zé Rafael Palmeiras and Diego of Goiás. On the right wing, Alimau Internacional. On the left, Aleph Manga of Curitiba. The striker, German Cano of Fluminense. Our coach in this round, Guto Ferreira of Curitiba. Who else could be named the best player of the round but German Cano? The Argentine striker scored two goals that gave Fluminense the win over Fortaleza at the Maracanã. His first was this amazing strike. Then he took advantage of the rebound to get the brace. The shots on target made Cano the top scorer of the Brasilia round with 15 goals. Germán Cano the star of round 26. Twenty-six games in, the Brasilia row looks like this. Palmeiras continue to lead the way and now have an eight-point cushion over second place Internacional. Flamengo are in third, closely followed by Fluminense. Corinthians and Atletico Paralaense are in fifth and sixth respectively. Defending champions Atletico Mineiro stuck in seventh. Further down the table, the likes of Botafogo and São Paulo have yet to really get going in this campaign. It's also very, very close and very tight, but the teams who are now in the relegation zone are Cuiabá, Avaí, Atlético, Goianiense and Juventude look lost.
Round 27 starts on Saturday with two games. As Hawaii face defending champions Atletico Mineiro, there's also Botafogo Coritiba. Red Bull Bragantino and Goiás go head to head on Sunday morning. Later in the day, the Maracanã will be the stage for the Rio derby between Flamengo and Fluminense. Also on Sunday, Sierra San Paulo, America Mineiro Corinthians, Juventude Fortaleza, and the battle between arch enemies Palmeiras and Santos. Atlético Paranaense and Cuiabá lock horns in Sunday's last match, but the round ends on Monday as Atlético Goianiense take on Internacional. That's it for another week. We hope you're enjoying our coverage of the toughest and most exciting league in the Americas. And we will be back in the next round with more action from the Brazilian Rao Açaí.